Thursday we are doing a makeup tutorial. I know it's normally throwback Thursday, but I had such a huge, like extreme request from so many people, the majority of the people asking if we could do a Morphe brushes tutorial using the new 35O palette. So that's what I did today. Um, and I did make it extra glittery because that's just what I like to do. I got the 35O palette as well as the lipstick Nick palette. So, oh, this palette is so great. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye. First, I want to prep my skin by using the Revision Skincare Intelli Shade Original SPF 45 Anti-Aging Tinted Moisturizer. Wow, that was a mouthful. This came in a swag bag for a new beauty magazine, like an anniversary party I went to in, in um, New York City, Mina Loke, last year, and it's like so amazing. First of all, this is a great tinted moisturizer. Look at the coverage. I've really been enjoying applying my tinted moisturizers or primers with the F60 foundation brush recently. I've been like, man, I gotta get back into using those flat foundation brushes. Not because, I don't know, just because. <laughs> because, <laughs> because I'm just bored and I just give myself things to do. Next our primer, we're gonna take the Urban Decay Enigma eyeshadow primer. Made you feel at home. And I'm blending this in with the P82. This really blends out Enigma well. Sometimes Enigma is a little too um, thick for me, and it can kind of make my shadow streaky, but if I blend it out with the P82, it's a lot better. Just because I literally have no idea what we're doing yet, I'm gonna take my E40 brush, and I'm gonna use this shade right here. I'm going to start placing this into the crease, but I'm really just kind of using this as a base shade. Um, I kind of want to get a little layer down there, just so my primer doesn't crease. Straight from the sky. Blending E25, we're gonna take a little bit of this dude right here in this bottom left hand corner. We're gonna hold off on the lid shade until the end, really. I'm just gonna go ahead and pop this in my crease now. And I don't want this to be a super high smoky eye, so I'm trying to keep it as concentrated right here as I can. I used cinnamon flavored toothpaste this morning, and it was quite an adventure. Never done it before, and don't know if I'll do it again. And then take whatever might be left on your E40 and run that through your crease and just kind of over the top blend blend blend. Now with my E38 brush I want to take a little bit of this one like a cream sickle shade. I don't know why <laughs> when I say names sometimes I like shake my tatas. I don't know. Something cool I do. I'm just running that over the top again of that shade and this is further helping to blend out but also just bringing some more tone oh, oh, forgive my chip nails I think I need a new top coat mine must be getting old I used to china glaze but usually so good but lately it is just chipping next we're gonna be taking the NYX jumbo eye pencil and milk and I'm just gonna take this on the lid and I'm trying to keep it strictly underneath my crease because if you get it on your crease it's gonna look a little funny now at the e58 sigma cream color brush i'm gonna drag that white and try and make my lid there <laughs> sorry i'm like not even understanding english today i'm having a really hard time with words you know those days where you're just like not even a human i'm that way today same E58 brush, I'm gonna take this one right here in the corner, this amazing, like, coppery bronze. I'm gonna take a little bit of this warm brown to kind of help define our crease. All the guilt is hitting me at once. I hope you're happy with the one that wants you out of my life. And then with the E59, take this shade again for our highlights. So pop that right in your brow bone there and just blend that in. And this will really help to marry your crease and your highlight together. Make it so nice and smooth. I'm gonna take one of my favorite lip cosmetic glitters. This is in the shade Oprah. Oh, or Oprah 2. There's a number 2 on it, so I don't know. But it's a beautiful. Oh. Oh. 
<sighs> Isn't this the most beautiful rose gold pink ever? I actually found the Lit Cosmetics glitter brush, so this is amazing. All right, so just grabbing the Clearly Liquid Glitter Base. And I'm bitter, bitter for all the things I said. I'm trying to move on, but seeing you was messing with my head. I hope you have. Just to give it a little extra oomph, I know you guys think I'm crazy. We're going to take a little bit of this shadow here, a nice dark espresso, just along that very edge of the glitter. And this is gonna give us such a killer cut crease. the Tarte Tartist eyeliner and I've been loving this. I'm going to curl with my BH Cosmetics Lash Curler and then I'm popping on the Violet Voss Strip Tease Lash. I am so excited. I've never tried their lashes before, but they looked amazing on their website, so I cannot wait to try this. And before our falsies, I'm going to do a few coats of the Lash Sensational Mascara by Maybelline. Oh, baby! the Too Faced Born This Way foundation, so that's what I want to use. I'm in the shade Warm Nude, and I'm just going to spot this around my face like I'm a little leopard. Area. So I'm gonna take the Benefit Boing concealer. Oh, <laughs> this shade number one. Oh, I hate when my lips are white. This my beige powder. This is the Hello Flawless powder by Benefit in the shade beige, not my beige powder. So now in the Morphe Brushes palette, I'm just going to take a little bit of this shadow to go on our bottom lash line, barely. Darkness and I'm being I'm gonna take a little bit of the benefit highbrow and I'm gonna use this on my waterline. I'm trying to move on, but seeing you was messing with my head. I hope you happy. So I'm taking my Anastasia palette because I can't find where I set my Kat Von D one down anywhere. They're basically the same thing. And I'm gonna take the middle shade here as my contour color. Stars, stars. We need to finish our mascara, so I'm gonna apply a little bit on my bottom lashes, but again, keeping it really light. Going into the Morphe 
Brushes Lipstick Mick Lipstick Palette. This is it here. Oh my gosh, can you believe it? It is so beautiful. I think I'm going to kind of play around with these two colors um, just because, I don't know, I really don't want to do anything too dark yet because it's, it's I'm going to hold off a little bit longer before I start doing my really dark, smoky fall, wintry, smoky eyes that we love. Um, so yeah, we might as well use the bright colors for a little bit longer. Oh, actually, I want to highlight first. Alok just bought me this Gilded Honey um, Laura Geller highlighter because one of my friends who works for Laura Geller told him how great it was. So he was like, okay, I'll get I'll get it. So thanks, Rach. This is why I have the best friends ever. They like talk my boyfriend into buying me makeup. Amazing. So, yeah, this is Gilded Honey and it is oh, so gorgeous. <laughs> with OCC's Trick Lip Liner. I lied, I'm switching my lip liner to Sienna by Smashbox. Oh, At first I'm gonna take a little bit of this middle shade here. Oh, oh, stony baloney. It's a stony shade. I thought it was gonna be something else. <laughs> I'm just kidding. We're gonna roll on over to this peachy guy here. It's taking me time to find a little bit to myself. I'm all alone because now I'm gone and no one's here. All of this pain I deserve. But when you left me, it still hurt and I'm standing. Okay, is this not the most beautiful peachy nude lipstick you have ever seen? Oh my gosh. And I can't believe this is matte. I'm literally blown out of my mind. I cannot believe this is matte. This is absolutely crazy. Ugh. You guys have to get your hands on it. Just by looking at it, wouldn't you think it'd be more shiny? Let me know if you want me to do like a video where I'm just playing with different like lip colors and like concocting different things and doing different styles because I was planning on doing that in my free time anyway. So if you want me to just film it like with different lip combinations and things like that, I can totally do that. Okay everyone, that is it for this tutorial. I'm really sad it's over because that means I'm gone until Sunday. Unless you guys want to keep up with me over the weekend because I don't even know what I'm going to be doing this weekend. Probably nothing, like always, just hanging out with my cats. But if you guys want to see me and my cats, you can follow me on Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook. They'll all be linked down below. If you guys like this video, throw your girl a thumbs up and maybe hit the subscribe button. I upload videos three days a week, every Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday. This weekend I'm going to be doing what I eat in a day type of video, so that's going to be really exciting. Make sure you come back Sunday for that. And have a great, fun, safe, happy, and healthy weekend. I love you guys. Peace.